Hey, what up, mighty dudes and ladies? This is the one and only Mighty Avenger here. <clears throat> I <laughs> I can't get I can't get this movie out of my head. Uh, as you already know, Avengers: Infinity War just just came out this weekend. Technically, it came out on Thursday, Thursday night release, and I got a chance to get the opportunity to watch it, and holy crap, that movie was just amazing. Just one word alone that says that it's just epic. I enjoyed it. So that was, to me, without a doubt, that was the best Marvel film of 2018 with, with combining stories from... Infinity Gauntlet to Infinity War to Jonathan Hickman's run of the Marvel event Infinity. <clears throat> so, this is the first. This is my first time doing a a re review video for Avengers Infinity War. So, in well, here's the thing. Technically, I was gonna do this. Uh, yesterday, once I got home from from the theaters, but I then at the same time I, I thought maybe like nah, I rather just wait until tomorrow because I rather let the guys get the opportunity to, to get that chance to to see the movie for themselves before I can do this video. So for those who actually did get to see on the Thursday night then you already know what, what happens throughout that film. And for those who didn't didn't want to do it on Thursday and wanted to save up the money for, for, for the weekends, you know, that's cool. So I'd rather just wait patiently to, just to get this to get this one little opportunity. So so just be aware that, that I am pretty nervous to do this kind of things like this, especially of this first review. And at the same time, trying to struggle myself, try to, to try to explain what I'm trying to give it a give it a little bit something that, that I can't that I can't get all these images out of my head because again, it was it was such an amazing movie. So, and also fair warning, there will be a spoiler alert. So, when it comes to that, I'm only giving you the the option to, to simply just. Beep, 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 beep. Just turn around, turn around, turn away. T just stop the video. Just don't, don't watch the rest of it because I will bring out some of the things that that, that was part of this movie, and that I also may have a hunch about what just happened. So, let's start off with the minor spoilers. So, right off the bat, Thanos was on the hunt. For the Infinity Stones, originally they they were called the Infinity Gems back in the '80s, so I guess now it's more populated that they want to stick to calling it the Infinity Stones. So, as you already figured out that yes, in the beginning he had two. Loki took the Tesseract inside of what was the Space Stone. That what happened back in uh, the Thor Ragnarok. And of course, that he wasn't al he wasn't alone. He brought his children, aka the Black Order, who made their debut on back in 2013. That was <clears throat> was on Jonathan Hickman's run with both Avengers and New Avengers, which that the New Avengers no number eight. That was the first debut of the Black Order, and the names are. Corvus Glaive, the strategist, the big guy named Black Dwarf, the muscle with that, that big war axe, and the scrawny one, Ebony Ma, who was the master manipulus, and telekinesis, if I'm not mistaken, and the fourth one, Proxima Midnight, 
and she happens to be one of the one of the most dangerous warriors that that's known from the galaxy, and not to mention that's Corvus's wife. So, surprisingly, no super giant was on this film, but that that comes in another time. But anyways, that it was nice to 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 have these four most most dangerous group of villains that it that's been around since Marvel Now era that that be, be make their debut to, to the live action film. So it was it was a enjoyable movie. I, I, I loved it. My family also loved it as well. They were they were getting their giggles worth and I tried my best not to laugh so hard. Um, I, I, I can't remember what what the lines were so funny, but all I can say is that, that it was, it to me, one of the reasons why I'm such a Marvel fan, and especially to the films. Not to mention that 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 today was the the tenth anniversary to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. To they did a great job. They made a great movies, solo movies, especially that made the first the first Avengers movie that was such a smash hit, and they did a good job also with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Not to mention bringing Spidey back to the to the to the Marvel Studios. So that that was that was my moment there that I enjoyed the hell out of it. So. <clears throat> As you already know, so yeah, I excuse me. Yeah, Thanos is on the quest to find the stones, and he's already know that that the other two are somewhere on Earth, and we already know Doctor Strange, Eye of Agamotto, inside it is the the, the time stone, and the mind stone is in the possession in Vision's forehead. Who was off the off the radar, and because more likely he's been evolving instead of becoming just a machine, he's tried to be understand what it means to be as a man, you know, being from beyond as a machine and have feelings as a human. And of course, that 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 Wanda is basically starting to start feeling love with him because. She's now more drawn to him, and that's that's bring. It is nice to have the the love concept that most people mostly remember back in the seventies of the storylines that it you know that an android can cry. That was one of the moments of, the, of such rememberables of of the vision, and of course they got they were being got hunted down. And of course the. Uh, Wanda did everything that she could to protect Vision because he was the target. Because not just him, but it's the the stone that that he's it's still inside of him, and it's, it's and to make things worse for him, that he can start hearing the voices coming from the stone. And on that train station at Scotland, uh, I thought, well, like, this has got to be the end of them. But that's when Steve Rogers shows up in the nick of time. I was like, when I saw him just stepping out of that shadow, I was like, and he's rocking with that beard, man. That that's that's a manly beard. I know it's not it's not matchable as mine, but but more importantly, that I thought it was great to see him. And not to mention that Natasha, I you know I I kind of miss her being a, as a redheaded. Just seeing her in the in the in the short blonde hair it does kind of reminds me of your of the of the other Black Widow Yelena. I don't know her last I I forget her last name but you get the idea. And also that Ebony Ma does apprehend Stephen Strange because yeah the time the, yeah the time stone so it was 
it was quickly to see that 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 he got they required what he needed but of course the spell is still enchanted from the, the Akamato. It means that, that no one can can touch the eye nor the time stone. And Doctor Strange is already aware of the situation that he was in. So, of course, as you recall, that before all this happening, that Heimdall did use this last of every of his magic to send him back well send the hulk back to earth and luckily that well he did made it back he made it back home and with to, to send out the, the dire warnings that thanos is coming and here's the thing what's happening with bruce no hulk and and the reason that is because before all this happens, Loki tries to to distract. Well, let me just let me reinvent let me renovate this. Loki acts that that he was trying to betray his brother, when of course all this was just a diversion for the Hulk to strike at Thanos. But couldn't do the job well, and of course that Thanos has the the power stone that makes him th th completely invulnerable, and just kicking the living shit out of Hulk, and that's where Heimdall used every last of his strength to send him back to to Midgard. So now cutting back to the to throughout the, the throughout the film, there was a problem for. For Banner, he can't turn to Hulk. That became such a, a a funny moment right there because this is the first time that that Banner would 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 be struggling to simply try to Hulk out or try to to, to bring such anger, which is that's really the most the most pathetic thing to do. And. All you get to hear from the Hulk is yelling, "No!" I'm like, "No." This is the one time the Hulk actually declines to come out. Hmm. I wonder, is it because because the fact that Thanos beat the living crap out of him, and that he's not ready to to, to come out? That's really the most funniest thing of all, and also, as you recall, that the, the uh, Spider-Man's new Iron Spider suit, I thought that was really cool. It it, it does kind of almost, kind of almost resembles to the to the comics, except that goes into the the be as a red and blue traditional that combines with the of the of the iron spider not to mention that it did bring the legs the spider legs that so that was that was pretty amazing so that was a good attempt so it's it was it was almost becoming like the the civil war moment except it's got a little combining to two of, of the affinity war storyline so that was a nice attempt and funny how he just tried to store away into the empty Ma's ship so yeah, I, th Iron Man did not. Iron Man did not expect that Spider that Spidey would try to store his ray in, and just and just basically wanted to help out. But you know, <laughs> it was funny because the fact that 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 yeah, Tony did that call, call out or basically to activate the passcode for Peter's n new suit, in which. No offense, Tony. You did call out the, the Peter's new suit, so that's your fault on your hand. So, not to point fingers, but you, man, you, you. So, <laughs> so that was a that was a good funny moment there. Uh, it's nice to see Wakanda again, and again. I really loved the Black Panther movie. It was a, it, it was a great movie also. 
So it was it was a nice to, to, to have Wakanda to be in the mix for, for for the for the Infinity War. So so that and yeah. So if you recall that 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 Bucky did resurface, and of course he's just he's just one arm, but it looks like the T'Challa is providing give him give him a new arm, and I'm assuming that that. That mecha uh, mechanical arm is also got to be made of vibranium, so that makes it this arm be tougher and lighter for for Bucky. So, I think that that was a, a good moment that 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 this, this finally we get to see that, that Bucky would be back in action. So, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh huh. Oh, and uh, there was also the. Do you do you recall that the, the, the last trailer that that actually showed the, the backup story, you know how that, that when Gamora was just a child, back in the way back then, that Thanos, invaded her home planet. In that. I mean that's that's really got to be a tough that's really tough for her for, to, to witnessing the, the the horrors and obviously those are the, the Shatari so, soldiers that that serve Thanos and all she ever could try all she ever wanted to to, to all she wants to be reunite with her her mother but it was Thanos that took her took her in and just show this little blade to, you know, just hold it in, see how you can be able to balance it, and just, and that bastard just covers her, covers her eyes to see all, all the, the, the all those people get, get brutally shot, and hearing all those screams, and that was just, to me, that was just the most, the most brutal thing to, to see and couldn't couldn't be able to, to see if if her mother was was in, in those lines that was that was really messed up and here's and the thing about Thanos to see he has his ways of being the most brutal and the most sadist Just the sadist a hole you ever known in the Marvel universe because yeah he is a titan and the thing is about his childhood was not pretty much a a pretty happy tale as a, as a child he was been bullied and get get pushed around because he was he was different from all the other all the other kids that 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 was born on Titan. And by the time they reached to his adulthood, he became a ruthless killer with no remorse. And all the women that he made love with, he just basically just killed them at the, at the process because he, either he just did not want to be to bear children, or he just doesn't doesn't give a fuck. That's basically saying that that that's a zero fucks given. And the thing is about about Thanos. He kills his kids. That's the most. That's the most the, the sickest thing that you ever known about Thanos, and that makes you wonder why he was considered to call himself the Mad Titan. So you can check that out. Uh, the the trademark papers of Thanos Rising is should be in stores. You could you could look at it up or on or Google it or. Or buy it online, so that's the, that's the that's where you can get into it, and, or you could just look at it at the Wikipedia. I know how most people do that very often, and when the fact that that <laughs> funny thing is that 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 uh, that the Guardians meets other halves of of the Avengers, they get they get Atlantic confusion. I would like to call when they don't know what's going on. 
but the only thing these two have in common, they want to stop Thanos. And in the in my f- favorite part about this, that when they landed to of the most uh, of what's left of of planet Titan, and at that time I didn't I didn't I didn't quite fully grasp why they're here at, at the planet Titan, but then I'm starting to rethink that that because that. Thanos used to live there, and and I and I and I should have, I should have, should have remembered that of the, that because that's what that's what I get for being lazy. But other than that, it's nice and it, well. No, this was the this was the place with that where Thanos grew up, and just have a rough life. And then he starts take take things for granted, and it's just doesn't and just start doesn't give a shit. So it was nice that 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 it it gives you a glimpse of what was Titan was like that back then, and then became a a complete wasteland, a big pile of a graveyard. So. Uh, other than that, uh, let's see. Oh, and of course, <laughs> funny thing about that when when and of course Thor needed to get needed a weapon because he's useless without without a hammer. So he has to go to the source. I think it was the name of it the, the of the station. Where the, the where the dying star was was forged, using the, the use the energy of the dying star to to mold it the the metal uru. And uh, and of course that he's got teamed up with rabbit. <laughs> no, not rabbit, rocket. <laughs> I, honestly, that Thor doesn't quite know much. Don't doesn't know. What a raccoon is, or technically, what is of a of a an alien animal planet, whatever you call it. So basically, that that so Rocket and Groot had to help out Thor be, to to find to to start off with the, the of to the. You have to excuse myself. I am. <laughs> Everything that happened last night, it was just a, a good movie. He, things like that, when you first see the movie, and then you have some memories, and then you have not. So, all I can say is that, that I need to see it again. That's all I got to say. Alright, but getting back to the, the part. Uh, the, 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 big, the big dwarf... Or the big elf that that makes the uru metals to make these enchanted hammers. Uh, I think it was the the name that was played by Peter Dinklage, and needless to say, I was not that surprised. He plays one of the, one of the, one, of the, one of the iconic characters of the Thor comics, and as I said, I can't remember the name, but. But I felt bad for for the elf because he was the last remaining of his kind. Because basically, the, the of what did happen on the contrast, that Thanos was was at that station not too long ago, and forced the elves to make a stronger gauntlet for him that that can harness of those stones, and. Once that it was completed, he just he killed his he killed his kind, and he was the only one, the last remaining, and and, and that his his hands are forever st- uh, cast stone. That was that was, again, I was just I was just saying that was just brutal, man, just brutal. And so they. 
So they have to help out with one another to to get to, to get the whole to, to get the get the whole engine running up and get the dying star to start working up again. And of course, Thor has to be the one that has to be the muscles to get get the get the started get the machines and get the Uru metals to get all get all running up and get all get molded up. Because it was time that, that that Thor needs a hammer, and the name of that hammer was what else? Stormbreaker. Now, hearing that name, that essentially reminds me of another god that wields that hammer. Goes by the name of Better Ray Bill, who's the one who who owns and wields the Stormbreaker, and. Do you recall that the you saw the 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 the, the nerf ads of the, of the Thor Stormbreaker for the of the movie, and it has that the that tree branch as a handle. Well, I guess figure that I guess that makes sense where that 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 hammer was that came from, and that was Groot. <laughs> Cliche and. Speaking of Team Groot, he's a lazy bum. You know that. He just all he does is just plays that game throughout the entire film. And needless to say, that it was the Defender. Hey, when it comes to the, the these old classic games, you become addicted. You can never just turn away or put it down. You just you be on that game for for for, for hours, my man. I, I, that's that's something I would do mostly when it comes to games like this. I would be sitting there for hours, and I would be I would be begging to, to, to go to sleep. But not Groot. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. And then of course the 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 fight took on outside of Wakanda. That was. Oh my goodness. I can't imagine how this would be having having different tribes to to, to band up with the with a few members of the Avengers. And <laughs> Banner being in the, in the Hulkbuster. I that was funny. I didn't Oh, he got the hang of it. It's just he's just a he's a bit clumsy. And yet, still, he can't not cannot convince Hulk to to, to 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 come out. I don't know what the reason is, or, or or I think he just he just got. I think maybe to safely assume that Hulk got got humiliated and beaten. So that's that's my way. That's 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 my guess. And 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 I will give a hand to, I will give a hand to 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 the Black Order. Yeah, they send those those soldiers out, and they just basically just sacrifice their bodies to break through that the, the, of that heart of that of that energy shield, and yet they still keep coming, even with if their their, their skins are, are are burned, they kept coming. And and now I'm kind of one now it kind of makes me wondering why. Corvus was staying in, in the back. He wasn't being punished. He had another way in because the the whole the whole soldier thing is out to just have the have the have the rest of the, to duke each other out. Corvus was just was was the real plan because the whole fight out was just a diversion in order for the, the Corvus to, to sneak into to the lab. And take the the mind stone out of the, the for, out of the vision, and Sherry was defenseless. I mean, whew. now I know why he was considered the, the, the Thanos is the, the, what uh, Corvus was his favorite. It makes sense. So that was a few minor spoilers. So it's. Well, I wouldn't say it was a, that minor of a spoiler. So that's considered that's what happened. So now here comes the 
the big spoilers that I think that was the, was one of the highlights of the film. So, uh, this is it. Because what I'm about to say is going to well blow your minds out. So, if you don't want to hear what I got to say, like I said, walk away. Don't, don't watch this video. So, I'll give you one minute. After that, I'm not turning back. This is the kind of thing that 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 this is a no return policy. So here I go. One minute. Oh, you're back, huh? Well, I can't say I warned you. So it is your it is at your risk. Okay. So here here's uh, the spo spoilers that I've considered that was a bit a big surprise. So with the the with the sp with the space power reality in his possession, the only thing that he wants to know is. Where is the soul stone? And Gamora is the only one knows where it where it is because it it's such a wonders why that Thanos want want her alive. It's because she knows where where it's hidden. And how did he know? Nebula. Let's just say she tried to attempt to try to kill daddy and almost completed but failed and she was now being interrogated and being stripped not not the kind of thing i'm just saying that that she was being stripped mechanically if if thanos would have could have got this a little for, out of hand she she would have been torn to pieces literally and and there she excuse me, Gamora confessed that the Soul Stone was in Planet Foam Mirror, I believe that's what it's called. And but when once they are of a once they arrived, you wouldn't believe who was the person in the dark clothing. The red skull, Joanne Schmidt. That blew my mind when I saw him. I was like, you mean to tell me that the Red Skull was on that planet the whole time? Because go back to almost to the end of Captain America First Avenger. When he held on of the Tesseract, when he didn't know that, that the, the Space Stone was inside it, inside the, the Tesseract, it it reacted and the tell and the portal opened and he fell. And, and it never did explain where is he. Until now, here in Volmir, now as a, as a, I guess you could say he's more like a, a guardian to this, of this fallen temple, I guess. Because, because, He's because I could from what I can understand that he's been in this planet for a very long time. And honestly, I can't tell how old is he now because I could tell that he, he, could, he could be old as hell. But <laughs> from the looks of it, I think he, I think he's going to be he's going to be stuck here for a long time. And so, yes, so on the top of, of the top of, of the of the temple and he said that the soul stone can be can be appeared only that requires a sacrifice one soul to another and at first you thought that Thanos would be crying that yeah literally tears coming out of his eyes that's basically that's all the deficit that he's taken but that's not the real case. Those tears were meant for Gamora. 
I was like, oh, shit. I think he's going to do what I think he's about to do. I was like, you, oh, he is. If I know I said it twice, but I'm just going to say it, that, 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 that Thanos is, is, a, is a one brutal son of a bitch. He just dragged her, pulled her against her will, and just tossed her off the edge of the cliff, and just... <clears throat> and when I say he did that, he kills his own kids. There you go. He, ju he just tossed Gamora off the edge of the cliff in order to acquiring the Soul Stone. That was pretty messed up. And it was like a, a few seconds in that he reclaims it. He got the soul stone. And all that's and now he's gonna be targeting the time stone. So it was yeah. The plan was simply it was simple. From Star Lord that the plan was to have Thanos come to them. To put up a fight against him. And I gotta say. I gotta put up. I gotta give a hand to. To Strange. Because. He was definitely. Put every magic that he can. Every spell that, that he's given. And looks like that. That that, that made. Thanos to. to, to, to simply to, to fight back. Even more. And then. Yeah. And, and Spidey. And Iron Man. Puts everything in much to, 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 to distract him to simply remove the gauntlet. And they finally got him. The, they got him right in the corner. And they they struggling the, as much as they could. And Tony's armor and Spider-Man's strength are the only two that they can able to remove the, to remove the gauntlet out of his hand. And have Mentis to, to force... The force battles to, to to put a sleep on it, and that's where the the and 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 star and and excuse me, Star Lord starts to demand and where's Gamora, and Thanos just comes clean and said, "I did what I had to do," and I hate to say it, but the, Krill. Drop the ball. He let his emotions get the best out of him, and starts just pistol whip at at a Thanos. That's that's only causing the the break the concentration from Mantis, and and I was about to I was I was about to almost have a heart attack that 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 because Spidey was almost close to to the. They yanked that gauntlet out of his hand, but it was too late. It was over, and oh my goodness! I mean, we would—they were this close. I'm, this is oh my. Ugh. If only Krill would have just kept his kept his emotions in check, then this would none of this wouldn't happen. And Tony did everything he could to, to stop to stop Thanos, the only way he could, and just put put every tech to his armor, which, by the way, is that his new armor is made of the nanotech. Yeah, nanotech with yeah, nanotechnology, <laughs> and and just and Thanos just yanked, just took the shard of it, and just. Stab, stab right to the gut. I was like, "Oh my god." Thanos was not fucking around, and and it's just as, and just as Thanos was begin to crush him and simply praise him, Strange had no choice. But to surrender the time stone.
there was no there was no other options because when he was meditating using the the time using the time stone he's trying to see what possibilities of the chances that 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 they could win and that was just one and there was no other than just to surrender it and so now going back to now going going back to earth And even though that the fight finally ended, that the, the members of the Black Order were eliminated, Thanos has arrived. And this was a fight that, that not even, not even the, the Avengers, War Machine, Falcon, Black Panther, none of them didn't stand a chance to stop him to retrieving the last stone. And right from the right from the beginning, the vision knew that the only choice is to have Wanda to destroy the time. The, oh my God, I said that I said time. So what the hell? But but it's to have Wanda to destroy the Mind Stone, if it meant the process of killing him. In in that in, in that in that in that scenario, and Wanda refused to do it because she loved him. And Vision knows that. In his last words, "You cannot kill me. You cannot harm me." And in. I and this was a a really touching moment that 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 the 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 most thing that that could that that vision was was willing to do is to see that 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 the vision oh <laughs> the the one thing that most that that vision refused to have is to let let Thanos get the Mind Stone, and end the universe. If it meant the process that, that he, he would be destroyed. And, and boom, Wanda used her hex spells, enough concentration to st destroy the, the Mind Stone. And, to st and basically to stop Thanos from coming closer and then, bam. The vision was no more. In the process, that the Mind Stone was destroyed as well. And then Thanos simply praised her for her effort. But they forget one thing. He still has the Time Stones. And all he did was to reverse the time, reverse everything, well, excuse me, reverse about like, I don't know, like, was like three minutes or so that the moment that that vision was torn to pieces and he just, he just ripped the Mind Stone out of the, the vision's head and and the, the and this and, and the skin color started turning gray and that he's he's literally gone like a soul without a body and that was and that was got to be the, the sad moment there and to my opinion, I think the vision is more is more human when than when he is just a machine. So it's my opinion. So, but at least he was he was the most he was without a doubt the most an interesting and unique character. And then Thor throw that stormbreaker right into the the, the Thanos the heart. 
it was, and he did made it made it clear that 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 in the end it will be the, the, the it will be Thor is gonna be the one that, that will, will kill you at the end. But the one thing that I mean, I felt your answer for 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 the for the Odison, but Thanos made it clear that you should have aimed me to the head. And then raised the, no, it wasn't that they, they he raises the, the he did he did not raise the, his gauntlet, or maybe he did. But all he did was he just took a one snap and white flash, and this is where my theory becomes in. When th all of a sudden Thanos was inside, I think what appears to be a. A orange room. It's just so echoey, and but it's so eerie, and I and and this is where I'm gonna where I'm gonna say this because what appears to be that Thanos must be inside of the Soul Stone because I remember watching. I mean, oh no, I didn't watch. But I've read the the few of the pages of the Infinity Countdown Prime, and the first part because because let's not forget because this is the first time we get to see what the Soul Stone can actually do because it hungers souls and mostly it traps souls. So that's basically what's happening. So that's so that's why Thanos was able to be inside of the stone, and it was a moment that he just saw what appears to be that the the image of the young Gamora when he first met. And the and the words was like, "Did you did you find what you're looking for?" And he answered, "Yes." At what cost? Everything. And that was it. And then, and then another second, back into the reality, and Thor was completely shocked of what of what just transpired, and what happened that 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 Thanos's gauntlet was broken, but the stones remain intact. So that may lead to to other two other things. That did he just snap his fingers to have the, the, to react it of the stones come together and did the impossible thing that just happened, or maybe because of the fact that it was the soul stone itself that started to. Uh, uh, what? How should I say? Basically, starts to collecting and or hungers the most of the souls on Earth, and that's where that Thanos disappears and left left without a trace, and that's where most of the people are being erased. From from T'Challa's guardsmen, even T'Challa himself, Falcon, Bucky, Drax, Peter, Star Lord, Nebula, most of the of those names are being being erased, almost as being that not exist. So it's got to be the fact that that. Either the, it was the, the either the time stone de ages as in that they no longer exist, or it's that the mind no the soul stone begins to hungers of the souls and traps them on the inside of the stone itself. So that's my only two theories of what just happened. And 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 for the first time for 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 Steve to 
to realize that, that how things have got things from come bad to worse and things become hopeless for him leaving nothing to leaving with no answers of what what's going to be the, the next plan which is nothing and as for Thanos the lucky bastard got what he wanted because once he got all the, the, the Affinity Stones, all he wants to be somewhere, somewhere peace, somewhere beautiful, and that he could stare at the at, on on a on a beautiful sunset, and 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 that's what he got. He got what he wanted, and then end scene. <laughs> and let me tell you something. When, once that it's over, everybody was flipping out and be like, "What? Are you kidding me? The, oh, this has got to be the most bullshit." Hey, trust me. Hey, no, it's trust me on this one because because frankly, what what most people don't realize that that's kind of that happens in the in the in. In the early comics, and I did mention about the name Infinity Gauntlet because that's probably what happened. So not many people don't remember it. So, and I and at the same time, I don't blame them. Sometimes that the, the, that as a kid, we only remembered a few pages of the comics and read them, and but never actually owned them. So. So believe it or not, that's what happened, and it's probably bringing that 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 same kind of scenario at the end of that the movie. So I feel bad for everybody that that have to <laughs> express their their reaction of the of the ending of the film. So I don't blame them. So and here's the the epilogue. Nice to see Samuel Jackson and Kobe Smutlers as Nick Fury and Maria Hill to witness of the of the of the the beginning of the end of the universe. Maria was being erased, and Nick Fury was also being erased. Before he was before he was erased, he tried to to, to send a, 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 a what I believe is a, a, a distress signal. And try to reach the, the see if it would get the signal the, the, get through the, the all the way to the space. I, I'm assuming. And right there, when you just got erased, there, the, the, uh, the device kept, kept saying signaling, signaling until that the that the, the message got through. And guess what? The colors and the symbol, simply kind of got me started to make me remember i seen it before oh yes that's the symbol of captain marvel so that tells us that 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 phase four will be commenced another year or two year that's where we get to see captain marvel aka or formerly known as miss marvel aka carol Dan danvers that will be will be played by Allison Brie, and also Jude Law will be playing as as Marvel. So that's it for the movie. And yes, Thanos will 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 come back. So obviously the the the, the story is far from finished. Because then when there's a will, there is a way that, that the characters will be will be revived. So that's it for of uh, of my explanation and my review, my discussion about the movie because personally I enjoy it and the things that that was everything that happened it was things was so, so funny things was get got dark and things got a real a real a game changer at the end so that was my first time ever seeing that that that. First time ever uh, that the most powerful villain 
has his own happy ending and leaving what's left of the Earth's mightiest heroes completely helpless and with no plan. And that's basically, that's that's the end of it. So I know that's it's hard to accept that, but it's that's 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 basically what that's what's based on the of the Infinity series. Because when you know that something's stuff is bad gonna happen, that's basically saying that that's that letting the, let the good guys win. And that's just that's how it is. But that's not gonna last forever. So. I really enjoyed the movie. That was by far the, the 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 best Avenger movie of 2018. So hopefully that that we will get some information and more in depth about of a possible that that there will be a fourth Avengers movie that will will get some will surface of who's going to be on it and which cast is going to be going to make their their first. Um, live action film so we'll see so that's it of my review video so i know it's not perfect but at least that's something i just wanted to wanted to a first attempt to do so as always don't forget to drop the uh, drop the comments below not to mention don't forget to drop the likes and, and that's where I do all the react videos and also react to games, anime, because this is the channel for you. So I think I'm gonna gonna lie down and and get some sleep because I gotta get ready for work. So I don't know what my schedule is gonna be like, but I really want to see that movie again. So hope you enjoy the weekend, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody and take care.